I get called to see this man in his 20s. He's admitted to one of the local hospitals with some electrolyte issues related to his end-stage renal disease. Um, <clears throat> he's a gentleman who's um, on a pre. He's on the transplant list. So as part of his pre transplant evaluation, they do a number of blood tests. And one of them comes back and it just came back like a few days before. So he hasn't had a chance to talk to anyone on the transplant team who ordered this test. But the test comes back positive result for strongyloides. So a positive strongyloides serology test. So I sit down with this gentleman. We have a we have a long discussion. Born locally in, in the in the New York area, has lived um, most of his life in the New York area. Um, he reports no international travel. He works locally um, in an office type setting. Um, it doesn't have any exciting, you know, I asked the, you know, have you, you been hanging out in, in coal mines, anything like that? Um, you know, he does say he's had some travel, spent some time down in, um, in Texas. Um, but um, otherwise, he feels fine. He really doesn't know anything about what's going on here. Um, and the question is, what, what do we do? Do we do more blood work? Um, does this make any sense? Do we, do we do any kind of treatment in response to this? Um, do you have to travel internationally to get strong aloides? Do we see it here in the U.S.? Um, all these questions. Um, and ultimately, as a consultant, I'm going to have to make a recommendation of do we do further testing? Do we do any treatment? 